Hello and welcome back to Creative Design and Supply. Today we are going to try something um, a little different, um, kind of like the wood one, but as you see, this is a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to take this. We are going to add this cute little ribbon rope around the edges and put a bow on it and make it as a sign. Now, um, I will say that I'm thinking about going ahead and clear coating this because you don't want the weather to get to it. Um, this is one of our cute little um, Color Splash Ultra transfers and I have a, a hoodie up underneath here. Um, I was going to do it like this and then trim that around but I think that this will be cuter with this ribbon rope around the edges. All right, and so I'm going to go ahead and center this. I'm going to put it down just a little bit. Um, when you want to center these, I take the sides of the letters and line those up. And then I will pinch just the top. You don't want to do the design. Okay, even though this is circle and I can change it up. Um just wanted to show how I do that all right and I am going to go ahead and I'm going to put some heat tape whoops I mean I want to lift it up just a little bit there we go all right and I'm going to tape the top and the bottom all right and now I have our little prototype handheld um, like a little iron, all right? And I put this under here so that way whenever I put pressure down, it's still going to be stable. If I put it flat, then it's going to bow a little bit. And with the heat, I'm not sure if it'll warp it, um, but we're going to see. All right? So now I am just going to go ahead and I'm going to go around it. If you've seen the other videos that I've done, once you've heated it up, you will see like a hazy um, part because it's lifting up off the film. All right. So. And I'm giving some pressure. I'm trying not to. I don't want it to bow from the heat. Now we apply these at 285. Now this is on the lowest setting. Um, This is the only part that I'm worried about. Now I'm getting a little bit of a hazy. All right. So now I'm just going to let it sit and cool down. All right. And see where we're at. All right. Um, because you don't want to heat it up too, too much. And once you get it to a state where it's overheated and you put pressure on it, you're just going to smush it. So I'm just going to check an edge. All right. So now that is on there really good. It is 
raining and cold and yucky here. Now, if I was going to put this outside or if I was going to put this on my door, I would take it right now and I would spray a um, clear acrylic sealer on it. Um, just to protect it, but this is just a decoration that we're going to hang on the wall um, just to show. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm just and now I am going to use our little glue gun and I'm going to run around here and we are going to put some of this cute braided rope ribbon or what you would like to say all right i'm going to go ahead and put a little ribbon up on the top i don't want to go to the sides because it's going to cover all right right about here even if i cut it too short my ribbon is going to go right there all right i'm going to put A little bit of tape which it happens to be heat tape but it'll keep it from fraying I'm only going to do little sections at a time about as far as it's going to make it. Alright, and I'll let this cool down and I can rub that part off and trim any more of the glue. And now I am going to make a bow and make a bow out of a few of these and hang it up. But um, unfortunately, my glue gun has bit the dust. So um, there you go. And I will have a picture on the thumbnail of the finished product. All right, if you have any questions, comment below, and I will be glad to answer them for you. Thanks. Have a great day.